Okay, so last summer we told you about this plan by wildlife officials to drop poison pellets on the Farallon Islands to kill invasive mice. Yeah, the proposal was withdrawn, but now it's back and it's pitting conservation groups against each other. KPX 5's John Ramos with a story. The proposal is for a helicopter to drop nearly 3,000 pounds of bait pellets laced with rodent poison on the Farallon Southern Islands to kill off a mouse colony transported there during the gold rush days. Federal wildlife officials say the mice have attracted a small group of burrowing owls that are also killing chicks of a fragile species called the ashy storm petrel. People are just outraged by this plan. They can't believe that the federal agency that's in charge of protecting our wildlife is considering using a highly toxic anticoagulant rodenticide on these islands to kill off mice who've been there for a hundred years. Kelly Kasmarek works for the Wild Care Animal Hospital in San Rafael. Wild Care was instrumental in getting the state to ban Bradificum, the very type of poison they want to use on the island. She says other birds, such as western gulls, will die if they eat the poisoned mice. To introduce those types of highly toxic chemicals is just, it, it's mind-blowing that that would even be considered. So you might be surprised to hear who is supporting the plan, the Golden Gate Audubon Society. They and other conservation groups believe the mice must be eradicated once and for all, or the petrels could be headed for extinction. That impact is so great that it may well have a direct effect on the survival of that species everywhere. But Kasmarek believes the state is trying to protect the petrel even if it means killing other birds. She favors using non-toxic methods, which she says the state isn't even considering. One of the, the responses was that research into non-toxic methods is beyond the scope of this project. The plan will be presented to the California Coastal Commission again when they convene their next meeting in June, this time in Petaluma. In Berkeley, John Ramos, KPIX 5.